Okay, we're gonna try again. I bought the enhanced internet. We'll see if this works out. Hey, how's it going, dude? All right, hasn't kicked me off yet. We'll see how it works. So, uh, we'll do this one more, one more again. So out here, we have the entranceway to the, uh, the Fountain Pen Super Show. This is the big show in DC. We are all, as you can see, uh, we are all masked up due to Delta variants and such. Uh, so they have masked up this whole area. I am back and hopefully this works. And uh, so we have two ballrooms and a hallway and then another hallway on the outside. So uh, hopefully my enhanced internet will, uh, will work through these. So going this way, we'll go into the big ballroom. We'll go there in a minute. Um, in fact, you know what? Let's do the big ballroom first this year because hey, why not? Uh, we started the smaller ballroom last time. So we're walking this way. We have the pilot and Namiki table. Howdy. You'll find some really beautiful uh, Makie and Arushi work here. Yeah. Including this bird. I'm gonna reach back. Some koi. Oh yeah, go ahead. Around here. So there's the extra fancy things over there. Uh, less fancy pilot line. They divided their line into two. Namiki versus pilot, uh, including this is the. Which one's the new one? This I think is the newest. Oh, this is the green. Or this is the blue black. Yeah, this is the newest version color of the uh, custom seventy four. Also some limited editions. We got the. Uh, these, what do they call it steel lines or something like that. Which is a chrome version. The new. Uh, um, demonstrator version of the Pilot Explorer, which I'm pretty interested in. Let's try one of those out. 823s, Elites, down to Varsities, all that. Here's a Sterling Jaguar, a journaling guy. And as we walk around, hey, it's Lisa Van Ness, what's up? Hey, how are you? Doing good. Just doing a little live tour. Okay, so, uh, oh my gosh, it's been so fun today. We already bought two shown design pants. You did? Yeah, and, and on my own. <laughs> like you get a short ones, you get an awesome, what'd you get? Yes. I got to match Can Davina's hair. More? Nice. She's going off to, <laughs> to find a pen. Yeah, you're welcome. I hope this, uh, this live stream is working better. We got, uh, there's the gentleman stationer, Joe Crace over there behind the table. We got Davina coming with her, uh, She's with her pen. Her. This, this pin matches her hair, she says. Oh, look at this. It does. Look, isn't that cool? <laughs> it's the exact colors. Very nice. So we, uh, we participate in helping other small businesses thrive. <laughs> we had a good time at the table. Those, I, I, came for, I went to look at an Ulta. Yeah. And then we saw that. And then I went and got her, and then there's the little black, what's it called with the facets? Yeah, it's called the faceted pocket six. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> so I got that. Uh, I can't say to who, because it's a gift for someone. Ooh. <laughs> Surprise. And she assumes people watch this, so, uh, yeah. you know. It's, uh... <laughs> Silly me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and uh, then, of course, we brought ink. Yeah. Ourselves. <laughs> tons, tons of ink for themselves. If you like wet inks, Pannoni is like the wettest. Oh my god. So. As well as all kinds of Vinta. We got some Robert Oster up in here. Pilot Ishizuku, of course. You have all the notebooks oh. full of inks. So this is Infinity Ink. I need oh, yeah. to give you some of it before you leave. So, How's it going? It, oh, it had a hard time. This has been open since 9 o'clock this morning. It ha I don't even have the cap. So it hard started right there, but it's still writing. It's pretty good. I'd say so. Yeah, I watched a video they put up on Instagram or some such, and they said that it won't stay like for years or whatever if you leave it on cap, but if you, you know, write with it every once in a while, then it keeps working. Matthew Morris wrote this for us so we could see the colors, because the colors are kind of generic named. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see the colors, but yeah. Anyway. yeah. So this is it. So I'm kind, of, I'm kind of impressed. I wasn't sure. Yeah. This is an Opus 88 with a medium nib. So. Yeah. And like I said, the, the Dan Don put the nib where the cap where it's too tall for me. Oh, nice. So, yeah, it's pretty good. Like I don't know if we can pass it off as someone of us bleeding, but maybe. <laughs> yeah, and you can find these by the infinity symbol on the box right there. Yeah. Sets them aside. Sets them apart yeah, from the others. Like 
layer of ink, so the fact that they yeah. added this, to the, they tell me there's going to be more colors. Yeah. Yeah, now if you want wet inks, those private reserves are real wet. Okay, so as long as we're doing this video, I've been told by several pen companies, so I'm going to do a little thing. Yeah. Do not touch your pens when you have used wet alcohol and not like the alcohol gels uh -huh. and have not let your pen dry. Careful with alcohol and pen materials, it's not great. I've had four companies that have said something to me, so that's why I'm, oh, wow. I'm doing this. Um, what would it be, a community announcement? PSA. <laughs> sure it is. It's a PSA. <laughs> you can do this throughout the video. Like, I will. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all, for keeping up the That's fine. Bye. That's fine. <laughs> you also find the Tasia uh, inks here, which have become some of my favorites, uh, as well as uh, Pannonia, which you saw me uh, sample a whole lot of. Looks like my internet's getting a little bit spotty at ought not to, but we'll see. We have uh, some loose, re loose leaf. Uh, Artist has some very arty pens, as you might guess from the name. All kinds of large hand-painted art objects, including, look at this box. Woo, that is very cool. And they have here three, four <laughs> Pin World uh, Reader's Choice Awards. Losing internet, of course. I paid for the good internet, too. Oh, man, come on. Come on, internet. Whew. You can find Neve here next to this big uh, private reserves ink sign with an avocado being stripped open. And they have tons of private reserves, including those infinity ones I was just telling you about. The ink kits. What are the ones with the yellow background? Oh, fast dry. That's the fast, that's the fast dry set. So they've got like three different kinds of private reservings here at least. We'll try those out. Monteverdes, of course, some of my favorites. We have really, really cool pens that will be at auction. You said later this month? Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. Yep, those will be at auction. Lots of uh, collector's editions. Get that out August 15th. Thanks, man. And then, uh, pardon? Uh, YouTube. Yep, of course. In the background, that's right. So let me come in this ballroom. This is the big ballroom. Hotel Wi-Fi is bad, but I'm using the, uh, I, got, I bought the good stuff. So hopefully, but uh, hopefully it'll be okay. I'll try to do a, another video and post next week, but for now, this is what we've got. <clears throat> so here's the new Elox pen. This is the new Diplomat uh, Aero style pen with the, uh, the rings. And they uh, sold out of all the fountain pens, so I didn't get one of those yet. Uh, orange rings black anodized body. It's got a real nice feel to this thing, and I think it looks really good. The other one here is a ballpoint, which I think is pretty good. Uh, I was holding this earlier and playing with it, but you twist the top and it comes out to the bottom there. I was trying to take the cap off of this, and then I realized it was a ballpoint. So, <laughs> so there's the new Elox. There's also another new one. Well, there's two new ones, actually. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, this, is the, uh, this is the one with the stripes. I forget what this one is called. Uh, yeah, Aero Stripes is what this one is called, which has black stripes in the, uh, the silver body. It's very nice looking. It's got a fancy feel to it. And then this is the brand new one. It's green. I like this green and silver. I hear there's going to be a, a green and black version uh, for a vendor, but this green and silver I think looks really good also. And check that out. I didn't, I didn't even know this was coming. And Kenny was like, oh yeah, we, we're out of the other one, but you got to see this. So I did. <laughs> so... I love these. And these are, uh, these are magnetic caps. Hopefully my internet comes back. I tell ya. Come on now. Internet. Killing me. This one has the this one has the flexible nib on it. You can see the cutouts there at the bottom. It also has a magnetic cap, and it will rotate itself back into position if you move it, which I think is pretty cool. You can check those out. Also a skeletonized clip, and that comes in three finishes. What are the others? There we go. Good presentation, Mike. Uh, and then there's this matte one, which I hadn't seen before. Does the section bother me? I actually like the Paniter section. I think it's a pretty comfortable section. This one has got a matte feel to it, so it's got a little bit of a texture. It actually feels really nice in the hand. I hadn't seen this one before. 
Um, but yeah, I like that Peniter section. It's a, it's a good section, I think. Uh, we have also the carbon fiber here. And here we have lots of Tabaldi. These are very nice uh, acrylic pens, good clips. Looks like, uh, looks like Yovo nibs. Nice size sections, good color combos. <laughs> You're just off camera. <laughs> He's just over there making faces and throwing up the horns. <laughs> As normal. <laughs> and swooping around this way we have uh, <laughs> more of Yafis tables. I think this is the last ones, but these are uh, Monteverde uh, pens, inks, a few more private reserves, some nib testers over here if you wanted to test out some various uh, styles of these pens, impresses and ritmas and such. Going this way, Euchre's pens. They really kind of made some very fancy Euchre's pens, and these are those. Um, these are those felt tip ones. I'm gonna take off a cap here, like this. It's kind of a porous point plastic or a felt tip. They take cartridges or converters, and they use some of the, they use some of the fountain pen inks very well. I would say get a wet ink for these, and uh, they perform very well. I think uh, I've uh, I've had kind of mixed success with like various brands. So get one that's got a wetter flow, and you'll be a lot happier, just because it's not the normal kind of fountain pen flow. And then over here is some more Conklin pens, including uh, one of them that I showed you. Come on now. We can do it. Get the internet. All right, we're back. <laughs> Kenro Industry, Industries, like, they've set up a museum here building for hours yesterday. <laughs> but they have lamps, posters. We got Kerry here talking to people about rollerballs. There's Matthew Morris he's talking to there. Oh, that's this one up at the top? These. Oh, these are. I'll show you real quick. The reason they have a kaleidoscope is the first sign of Aurora. Oh, it's okay. Back eventually. Kerry's arms are getting tired. Ah, we're back there. Show the section quick. Yeah, matching section in the kaleidoscope. Real nice looking. Yeah, looks like a basket of fruit. I dig it. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> Matthew, how's it going? Hey, bud. How are you? You know, doing okay. Fighting yeah. the internet, but you know how it is here. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. That's right. The only live stream, as far as I'm aware. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you see, they have all kinds of things here. They get around the side. Scooch around. How long is this going for? I don't know, hour, hour and a half probably. Uh, over here we got Bryant. How's it going? Doing well, man. Just doing a little live show, showing people what's up. Thanks for stopping in. You're welcome. You're welcome. They have some of their inks here to try. You can't quite buy these in stores yet, but hopefully soon. They got some washi tape here. It's like new washi tape since I got it. That's fun. Uh, no, I have, I think, the previous set of washi tapes, which y'all did. Take a roll. I will. Also got this fun turtle pen rest. Look at that thing. Just patience the turtle. Yes, patience. Yeah, that's a, that's a cool pen rest. I dig it. You can join a raffle. Oh, we're winning. Yeah, that's tough. That's, that's unfortunate. Yeah. I bought. I'm gonna get my money back. <laughs> I, have, I have a secret. Oh. But that, not everyone else is on. Yeah. Oh, really? What is it? I might be getting some secret internet, we'll see. We'll see, while well, he's getting that, here's those Paradise pins, uh, Paradise uh, JRs. That I was, did an unboxing for. What is this? Is this like your hotspot or something? Oh, can y'all see me? Am I, am I live on the internet? Because I don't even know. There's two people. It may be that I'm live, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna act as if I am. I'm still good looking even with the mask. Is that right? That's right. Who told you that? 
Oh, my, my wife. Oh. Over this way we have Trinche, who are from Puerto Rico. All kinds of handmade pens here. Hello, hello. You can find them on Instagram, mainly to buy stuff. I don't know, we might be back. Damien here, all in nib, talk fast.